Well, good morning from Lake Kawumba. Far out, it's 20 past six and it is already hot. I've got a feeling today is gonna to be a bit of a scorcher. But I have made a tactical gamble. Um, it's actually quite busy. I, I counted uh, five other kayakers as I was coming up the lake. And I thought, do you know what? I know I can catch fish. Well, I know I can catch fish. I'm confident I can catch fish in most of the spots that I've visited over the last couple of months. Um, but the top end of the lake, I only end up visiting right at the end of the day or, you know, two, three hours into the session. And this bay around the corner here, Shed Bay, has been so good to me on the last couple of sessions. And what I'm interested to know is, does the weather conditions change how it fishes? Um, now, in the last two sessions, it's been cloudy. It's been very windy. We've had the motorsport park running. So it's been really quite noisy. And we've had speedboats zipping around. And interestingly, if one of those elements dropped out, it did actually affect the fishing. So I thought, what the hell, seeing it's busy, and it's flat calm and the conditions are completely different. Let's paddle up the entire lake. <laughs> My arms are aching. Um, and let's give it a go. So yeah, I'm just having a few casts in uh, the bay in front of the big house here. More to get the braid wet than anything else. And let my arms relax a bit and then I'm going to creep into this bay. Find my spot and we shall see what we shall see. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. Well, the experiment is proving interesting. That's my <laughs> my opening fish from Shed Bay. Two things I've noticed. First is that the, the weed is all over the place. There's tons of surface weed. The second is that there's not nearly, well, based on what's on the sounder, there's not nearly as many fish here. And yeah, lastly, the ones that are here are really, I've had a couple of very tentative knocks. So, I'm wondering if this is not the spot to be right now and I should go and try somewhere new and come back. Peter from PTP Fishing has tried this bank over towards the motor park where the big advertising banners are. So, um, that's currently in shade. Just thinking right now, this is clearly not the spot. So yeah, maybe I should go and try somewhere new and come back here later. I ain't gonna lie, I'm struggling. <laughs> Which is nuts when you consider the last two sessions I've had up here in the last couple of weeks. It's, you know, some spots have been a fisher cast. Maybe I just made the wrong call. Maybe this top end of the lake doesn't really want to kick in until much later in the day. But either way, I've given this margin a really good go not had a knock at tap and nothing. The breeze is beginning to build, nothing too serious yet, but I imagine it will get stronger as the day progresses. So I'm thinking, let's head over to Kangaroo Point, see if there's any fish in there, because I'm not gonna lie, I could do a bend in the rod, basically. So yeah, it's up sticks, it's only a short paddle over that direction. Let's see if we can find some bass. Ooh, I can't believe how tough it is today. Yes, please, that's what we're up. <laughs> i 
tell you what, he's only a little one. But after a fishless hour or so, he's very, very welcome. Oh, I love Kangaroo Point. It's so good. Right, hopefully that's going to be one of many. When pickings are this slim, everyone gets a photo, even if they're really little. I'm not entirely convinced that these guys are following the lure out of the bay. I've got a feeling they're actually under the cover. Slightly better, not much though, what are we on? Here's a 30. But yes, I am having to work for my bites today. Ooh. Okay, well I've picked up a couple of fish, but Kangaroo Point isn't exactly on fire, and I'm getting lots of snatch at those lures. I'm not getting a great deal of particularly positive hits. Does, does seem to be a lot of small fish floating around. So, where to go, where to go? I don't think it's worth going back to Shed Bay yet. Um, so I think I could stop getting wind knots. I think what I'm gonna do is cruise on down to Fence Bay. I did get an absolutely stunning fish in there last time. It was only one bite, I think. But it was definitely worth it, because it was a cracker, so yeah, not a lot going on here. Time to move on. Well, I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know whether it's the lack of breeze. I don't know what it is. But right now, the fish are not either not where I'm fishing or are just completely shut down, shut off, not interested in nibbling at all. Because I can't buy a bite. But I will not be defeated. Lake Wumba has a ridiculous amount of fish in it. It's just a case of finding them and getting a lure in front of them that, you know, they're interested in. I strongly suspect the reason I've had such good sessions the last couple of weeks. It's definitely been in part the weather conditions, but I think also once you get a couple of fish, if there's a shoal there or a group of fish, then um, they get slightly fired up because the takes have been absolutely blistering. 
whereas the, uh, yeah, the takes I've had today have been really tentative. So yeah, enough procrastinating. I've given Fence Bay a really good go and there's clearly just nobody here. Nobody here at all. So I'm going to head over to Donga Bay, or Kennel Bay. I still can't quite decide what to call it. I think they're kennels. I think. So yeah, I'm going to head over there. I'm going to try that weed bed because it's been the most consistent spot since I've started fishing Kawumba. And then, yeah, depending on how that goes, head back up to Shed Bay and who knows? Maybe the fish have moved in there. Yeah, time to move on. Locate some bass. So for the first time ever, it's not blowing a gale. And uh, yeah, I figured out what they are. They're chicken coops. <laughs> Normally I can't hear the chickens, but I can hear them today. So yeah, Chicken Bay, I think. That's what we're going for. But it is ludicrously calm. Like, crazy calm. Absolutely nothing showing on the sounder at all. Where are all the fish? I'm so confused. Oh, there's a fish. Far out. A fish. No way. And he's come off. No, he hasn't come off. He's just swimming towards me and he's very small. This fella woke me up. This is drifting along with my feet in the water, so it's nice and cooling. He's probably the biggest of the day, 32. It's hot, really hot. It's my favorite type of bite though, right at the kayak, which is always really good fun. Ooh, there's a fish. When it's this tough, everyone gets a photograph, even the little ones. Even the little ones that are slightly spherical. <laughs> okay, the motorsport has started. Don't call me superstitious, but maybe it's a calling. Maybe I need to head back up the lake. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I need to head up the lake and go and have another investigative shed bay. Because there are some fish around here, but golly, they are small. Oh, and they've gone behind the kayak. 
Come on, mate. Round this side, please. Oh, my lord. He is ridiculous. That's Valur. That's him. I mean, really? Last week, I was catching, you know, 45 centimetre monsters. This week, oh, he's like he's scraping 18 centimetres. something decent. How's about that? <laughs> That's much more like it. What are we talking? Yeah, he's a solid 36. Oh, far out. I was beginning to lose hope, if I'm honest. There's absolutely nothing showing on the sounder at all. But I was checking out the weed beds. Right. Hopefully. Some more because that has put a bit of a spring in my step. changed. It's, it's lots and lots and lots of floating weed. Whereas before I was getting the fish a lot further out, these last two fish have come a lot closer in. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. So again, a lot closer in. Yeah. Again, much closer in. So it's kind of nuts, the, the wind isn't anything like it's been in previous weeks and yet the drift is so incredibly quick that, yeah, I think there's another 30, but okay, I've given it a red hot go and far out it is red hot, I am boiling, um, but yeah, it just ain't happening, like it was great to get some fish definitely, but it's so interesting, like uh, looking at the drop-offs and the gaps in the weed and stuff. Between this week and last week, it's nuts. It, the screen was like solid black with fish, and now it's just nothing. No one's here. Um, one other variable that I forgot to mention. Oh, there's a knock, and that's a fish. <laughs> 
One variable that I forgot to mention earlier on is the change in water temperature. So it's currently showing 30 degrees on the sounder. Um, last week it was about 24. Uh, I appreciate that because I've got the transducer mounted in the kayak, that's not going to be crazy accurate, but even so, that's quite a massive change in temperature. I'm picking off these little fellas, which, um, yeah, not quite what I was looking for. So yeah, despite it being what you would think, kind of, in terms of fishing, ideal conditions, because, uh, well, from the angler's point of view, ideal conditions. Not a great deal of wind, and, you know, not a lot of ripple on the water. It just ain't happening. So, I think I'm going to have a couple of more casts here, and I'm going to start heading back down the lake. What time is it? It's virtually 11 o'clock. I think I'm going to stop in at a couple of spots and maybe call it a day. I know that sounds absolutely crazy seeing that the last sessions I've not been off the water until gone three o'clock. But, oh well, eh? that's a better fish. Or well, at least it feels like it. Um, maybe I just needed to drift further out. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I will have a couple more casts here and head down the lake. Oh, he's come off. No, no, he hasn't. He's just pinned through the weed. It's funny, isn't it? I drifted through this spot with a different lure. I switched over to the bud on the other rod. Not a tap or anything. Switched back to the Elvis. Two wallops. Okay, he's a bit more like it. Oh. Well, as soon as I can get it in the... Sorry, Noddy goes fishing again. Right! There you go. That is a much better fish. Nice and solid too. What are we looking at? 35. Which will do. I drifted a lot closer to the point. Um, maybe that's all the difference that it needed. I don't believe it, it's a toga. I don't believe it, it's it's a bloody toga. Please stay on, please stay on. It's a toga, please stay on. Oh god, please stay on, please stay on, please stay on, please. Oh my lord, look at that, the bloody lure came off. And he drops in the net. Oh, I don't believe it. Okay, I can't quite believe that this has happened. I had a couple of absolutely cracking bites that didn't result in fish. Um, I was like, what is going on? And they were absolute belters. 
and yeah, I can hold him. He's only a small one. Oh my god, they're so jumpy. But I've caught myself a toga. Unreal. <laughs> I can't quite believe it. Oh, that's only my second ever toga, Saratoga. Let's see if I can hold them a bit better. They are so strong. Yeah. That's it, We've got a bloody toga, I can't believe it. This bay has been so good. That is just unreal. I'm made up with that. I'm <laughs> seriously in a state of shock. I literally just did a piece to camera where I was saying, oh, that's it, it's not happening today. The weather's playing havoc with fishing and blah, 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 blah. And two, the weirdest bites, followed by this guy. Just amazing. Caught a toga. Caught a toga. I'm not going to lie, I got very excited then, I thought this was another toga, the way it was fighting. But, it's an absolutely thumping bass. Look at that. Way easy toga. Oh, he's a 40. I'll give him 41. Just unreal, look. The size of that, the profile on it is just immense. And he absolutely banged that lure. Right, I'm gonna get a couple of photos of this fella and investigate that spot further. It seems like I've just drifted further down into the bay. And I'm casting at the greenery over there and off it goes. Oh, I smell something. Okay, so I've reversed it. So I'm going to plan me out. So interestingly, I'm starting to see a lot more fish on the sounder. I just literally just fish leaping and topping all over the place. So a quick measure, yeah, 33. Whew. Well, I think I've managed to find the only sheltered spot on the lake. Yeah, yeah I decided to stop in at Toga Point and the wind suddenly from nowhere picked up. And I tried White Tree Bay, but it was just crazy. I was, yeah, going at 15 meters a second down the lake. So I sort of gave up on that. And also there is now a water skiing boat zipping up and down. So um, yeah, paddle from around the corner was interesting. I had the wind on my back blowing me that way, but waves from the, the speedboat coming in the other way, which, yeah, made it interesting. Yeah, I'm going to use that word interesting again. Today has been very interesting. It's not been what I thought it was going to be. Um, it's, yeah, I, I think it's the conditions. I think that the conditions are so, so different to what they were last week and the week before. Um, and yeah, it's, it's strange, just like watching the sound there. 
the fish are just not around the edges. They're not in the, you know, the spots where I picked them up before. And although I have caught fish, it's been, you know, hard graft. I've had to work for it. And yeah, the most prolific spot definitely was you know, Shed Bay again. Although, yeah, my gamble of getting up there when it was flat calm definitely did not pay off. Um, yeah, it wasn't until I went back at probably, what, 10 o'clock? That's when things picked up, and to be honest, even then, it wasn't in the spot that I expected. But yeah, it's fantastic to get that toga. That was just something else. I was made up with that. And, you know, a handful of 40s is not, not to be sniffed at. Um, plus a bunch of other small fish from various different spots. So, you know, it's, it's not like it's been um, a blank or, you know, so tough that I gave up and went home. But, yeah, in comparison to previous sessions, surprised by how different it's been. But anyway, I'm going to have a couple of last casts here and stop waffling. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one.